Hello, Empower Nation. Welcome back to another episode of Empower Her Money. I am your host, Angela Duncan, money coach. And today I have the great honor of introducing to you, Sandra. Welcome, welcome to the show. Thank you, Angela. And first and foremost, I want to congratulate you on this uh, wonderful podcast that you have. It's a terrific platform uh, that you have gifted us. Thank you for sharing this. Um, it's not only going to empower uh, women that we know, but it's going to empower younger generations. And for that, I thank you. And I also want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for having me as your guest. Yeah, I appreciate you. your time today. So why don't you walk okay. us through your journey, kind of, you know, how you got started and what you are doing today? Well, I'm Miss a stylist, as you know, and also an image coach. Uh, and for me, a fashion has always been part of my DNA. Since I was younger, I would make choices that going out with friends, I would get the most compliments. And my sister once told me, how do you do that? How do you always look stylist? How do you look put together? Uh, I wish I had that talent, she said. So that always stuck with me, and I was very proud to just be able to pick things, colors, uh, and different styles, and maybe even make something new out of it. So for me, it was an easy transition when I started my profession career, my professional career, approximately 15 years ago, uh, when I was given an opportunity to work for Fendi. Uh, Fendi in North America gave me an opportunity as a, cons a style consultant. And uh, from there, my interest in fashion grew. I wanted to learn more about the business. I wanted to learn more about style and what fashion really is. Uh, I want to bring up the distinction between fashion and style. Uh, not many people know that you know, fashion, of course, is a, uh, a huge industry. It's a global multi-million dollar industry that produces uh, clothes and shoes and accessories and lifestyle, uh, creates lifestyle trends, right? We get our trends from fashion. Um, we have the designers, we have the creative directors, um, we have the media, the, the influencers now, <laughs> which create most trends. <laughs> Not every trend is good, but they're, they're trends. Uh, and um, fashion is almost like a tool in a form of self-expression. Mm. Um, is specific in context, um, you know, such as time, place, and purpose. And if done with intention, uh, the purpose can uh, be very broad. Uh, for example, if your purpose is at your job to get the promotion, mm. you're going to start making better choices in what you wear. Uh, if you want to get a new job, uh, you have to dress the part. Uh, also, if you want to find uh, perhaps a new partner, <laughs> a love interest, right? You're going to wear, make different choices, wear different things that you normally wouldn't. Perhaps they're more daring, uh, but fashion as a tool can help you enhance your confidence. Uh, it makes you more daring and makes you feel more powerful and hopefully unstoppable. And now style, style is very personal, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it defines who we are. Our personal style, we can choose, you know, to transform ourselves from the person we were five years ago uh, because it creates our identity, right? That's what it allows us to do, our personal style. Uh, everybody has different styles. Some of us are more edgy, more trendy. Some of us are classic. I consider myself to be a classic, sophisticated, 
a very feminine and sexy mixture. So you can't be defined just by one specific a terminology, one specific term. You can have like a mixture of maybe your boho chic. I don't know, a more feminine, more masculine. So you can definitely use uh, your personal style with the tool of fashion and the trends of the of the season, right? Because um, in fashion gives us seasons. We have different seasons. We have fall, winter, summer, uh, and um, with all the designers. So we have um, we can choose <laughs> yeah. from so. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. So if, if you, um, as an image consultant, if you had a client that came to you perhaps, or, um, maybe a client whose young child is just getting into the workforce and they're kind of looking for some key pieces, um, in the business world, but kind of on a budget, what would you recommend for them? Excellent question. I'm so glad that you, brought this up because I work with many individuals who, like you mentioned, are on their way to find their, is to start their career and they're on a budget. So they, I highly recommend to invest in capsule collections, uh, to go for the classics in timeless styles, choose versatile items that can carry you through season to season. Uh, stay in the neutral colors. Uh, for women, I highly recommend uh, to invest in at least two blazers. One of them, you must have a black blazer in your capsule collection. Uh, and you can choose perhaps another one that is lighter tone um, black is classic. You can use it year round. Uh, you can choose a, the lighter color for spring and summer. Um, perhaps you do really well with the um, neutral tones such as caramel um, or tan, right? right. And um, for women also, I highly recommend invest in a couple of trousers that are tailored suited for your body type, uh, always must have a black one. <laughs> or if you don't want to go black, you can do also a navy blue. Navy blue is also the, a new black. <laughs> uh, and the other one, just the, your favorite color. We all have a favorite color, right? Yeah. Um, and I also recommend for women to invest in a good and comfortable shoes. Hmm. whether they're high heels, kitten heels, uh, flats, but they must be comfortable uh, and stylish. Of course, you can go for the comfort, but also don't compromise <laughs> the style. Uh, what else for women? I recommend maybe a couple of skirts, um, the length to be appropriate where you work and depending on the occasion. So you can have a skirt that you can use during the day for work but also if you have a happy hour or in our case we do a lot of networking right so we can uh, go from day to evening we can transition easily perhaps just bring uh, uh the blazer or change the blouse and then it'll change the outfit um and of course a good pencil skirt is essential uh, what else for women? I recommend at least three blouses. Um, go for the fabrics that are luxurious. It doesn't have to be name brand. It have to, doesn't have to be expensive. But mm -hmm. ch choose the fabrics that feel good to you, that are sensual, that are feminine. Uh, and it could be any color. I, I'm not partial to any color. Uh, we all know the colors that enhance you know, and brighten our face. Uh, if we have dark color hair or light color hair, we know what works for us more or less, uh, but I'm here to assist if you don't know your colors. Um, and also very essential in our wardrobe for us women, little black dress, right? Like <laughs> Karl Lagerfeld said, the iconic Karl Lagerfeld. Uh, I met him once <laughs> at Fendi, when I worked for Fendi, incredible human being. 
he's so talented and just magical in, in his being, a uh, very impressive man. And he always said, you can't be overdressed or underdressed with a little black dress, right? Yeah, I love that. Yeah, so that's my advice for women. And for men, definitely invest in uh, a couple blazers, perhaps one sport, sports coat. Uh, I would recommend uh, between three to five uh, trousers to mix and match. Uh, it, because I, <laughs> sorry to say, but it, there's more choices for women than for men. <laughs> so men have to be a little bit more creative uh, when uh, dressing themselves. I recommend a good pair of shoes, different styles for different occasions, of course, uh, and invest in accessories such as belts. For men, I recommend at least a black belt. Uh, nowadays, you can easily find the belts that are reversible. So you can have black on one side and brown on the other side or black and blue on the other side, any combination. Um, so accessories, of course, for men and women uh, go a long way because you can dress up your dress with a scarf. Uh, you can use the scarf uh, as a, a cover up if you are on vacation. So use the purchase and invest in the versatile pieces that are timeless, never go out of style. Trends come and go, right? Like right. Coco Chanel once said, <laughs> style comes and goes, but um, no, she said fashion comes and goes, but style, style remains. Yeah. And touch a little mm -hmm. bit on colors, because you know I, I love pink. It's my favorite color. I know there's like thousands of shades of it, but talk about a little bit like, for example, the color we're, we're wearing very similar colors today. So talk Hi. about talk about the colors. <laughs> yes, the so color is very important. Uh, fun fact for you, since you love, you call it pink, but uh, your color is more fuchsia. Uh, I would say it's magenta. <laughs> and you know, the Pantone Institute, which is responsible for choosing season after season, the it colors, uh, chose a vivid magenta, uh, the color that you use for your brand as the color of 2023. So this is your year, my dear. Yay. <laughs> and they, <laughs> yes, they, you chose right. And it's a beautiful, vibrant color. Um, so the reason why they chose it is because it represents um, not only that it's a vibrant color, happy color, but it represents strength, fearlessness, and uh, in power. So there, it, it also being brave. And that's what you are. Yeah. Yay. So I picked the right color for me. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. So um, I have a fun question for you. If you yes. could have a superpower or a super talent, what would you pick and why would you pick it? Mm. My superpower would be a knowing what people think, <laughs> reading people's minds. <laughs> it would definitely make my job easier. Uh, it would be like having a magic wand and uh, knowing their style, their uh, preference in color. Um, it, that, that would really simplify life. Absolutely. Knowing what people think, because perhaps I select something that they definitely don't like, but because they're polite, they might say, yeah, okay, they go with it. Perhaps they're not as confident and they, they're they just a yes person, uh, but uh, that, that would definitely help. <laughs> yeah. And, and the great thing about what you do as well is you do not have to live in the same area as your client because you can shop and you can have things shipped to them. You can get to know them. And so I think that's pretty awesome. Um, I think I once said to you that I am a mannequin shopper. So if I hired you, then you can go do the shopping for me and I wouldn't have to worry about it. Awesome. Yes, awesome. as a stylist. Yeah, so thank you, Angela. Uh, coming from a fashionista, I really take this compliment in high regards. And um, many, many people just like yourself, men and women, 
um, perhaps they don't have the time and perhaps they are not keen to their personal style. They haven't found it yet. So as a stylist, I, I don't only dress people, but I also help them construct their style and bring forth the most uh, confident version of themselves. And um, my mission is really to make people look good because like they say, when you look good, you feel good. And when you feel good, everything is possible. Yes, yeah. doors open when you're confident, uh, possibilities just uh, show up and doors open. Yeah, yeah, awesome, awesome. Well, I appreciate your time today. If our audience wants to get in touch with you, what is the best way for them to reach you? Yes, please reach me out. <laughs> uh, my name is Sandra and you can reach me at Sandy, S-A-N-D-Y, Rodriguez with a Z like zebra, 51 at gmail.com. And my IG handle is fashion passion. Wow. <laughs> Awesome. Awesome. I appreciate your time. That concludes another episode of Empower Her Money. I'm your host, Angela Duncan. Hopefully you found those fashion tips um, helpful for you in your business and make sure that you reach out to Sandra if you want to hire her to be your image consultant. She is amazing and she will really help you. Thank you. Thank you, Angela. I appreciate your interview.